Why am I a modern dancer? Why do I study ballet? Four, one, two, three, four, one. How is modern different from ballet? Are you serious? We don't have as many fouettes or enveloppes, degages, rond We actually dance, like there's actually a storyline. And we don't let our junk hang out, you know, we're tight. In ballet we see a lot of legs. Um, yeah, okay, we get it. There's a straight leg, a straight arm, a line. But in modern dance, it's like, how does my how does my kidney feel about today? Point shoes, decorum, rich history, it's a classical art. We actually do our hair. So if I, I need to know, what does the shoulder want to say today? Yeah, I've been upstairs where they keep all the drums and the vending machines. They're like their own civilization up there. Downstairs. It's really sad. Everyone is in black leotards and it's cold. Pianos everywhere. It's, it's like a Hitchcock film. But not in a good way. Maybe this is ridiculous, but is it too much to ask for people to wear shoes? And have you seen their studios? Hair all over the floor, balls of hair everywhere. I'm not sure exactly what the ballet department's curriculum is, but I'm sure there's something about theory. Um, what's the story behind this? What are these gestures? What are these gestures about? There has to be something Modern curriculum? I have no idea what their classes are about. I have heard that they have entire classes just on improvising, sometimes with no music. Who is Ballet's mom? That's when you don't hear on Jeopardy often, you know. Who? I... Well, we have technique class for a lot of reasons, and the primary reason is that the body, it craves movement, do you see? It craves that movement, and when the body doesn't get what it needs, uh, it gets angry. Technique class has one purpose. It allows the good dancers to show the other dancers how they wish they looked. How else are we going to establish superiority? You cannot get this kind of primal movement from a piano. Do you hear that drum? My ancestors come from Norway, so that whole ninja genre of dance has always fascinated me. And actually, we have a dance ninja specialist right here at the University of Utah, Mr. Eric Hammond. So I feel really lucky. <laughs> what about ballet interests me? Getting my leg high. 
I can get my leg really high. Nutrition is very important for modern dancers. Probably the most important things that we put into our bodies are iron and protein. You know, you, you can get protein from so many other things that aren't meat. You can get protein. Well, I mean, I'm a vegan and I eat protein every day, and I I don't eat. We also really love boba tea. No, boba tea is protein. Boba tea is protein. protein. Those little tiny balls are protein. But you really don't need more than coffee for lunch. I mean, I bring lettuce in case I get dizzy or something, but I rarely need it. None of these like lean cuisine, healthy choices, smart ones. Just coffee. What is my dream job? Well, I think I would really love to own my own company and it'd be called Octopi. And we would focus on external limbs becoming internal. I mean, without a doubt, the New York City Ballet. Once you're there, you know you've made it. Sometimes when I'm performing here, I just imagine that I'm dancing at Lincoln Center. It makes it more real. Why do we have performances? Because people love ballet. The world needs to see modern dance and open their eyes. They need us. The world needs us. What's next? What's next? <sighs> I've received a few invitations to auditions, but, you know, you never know. I'm planning on auditioning at a few places. It's, it's hard to know exactly what's next, but there are lots of options. I may not know where I'm going to be in a year, but for now, I'm here, and I like it. I've had some really great experiences. I've learned how to do eight pirouettes on point. I can do 50 fuetes without my legs collapsing. And I mastered the perfect bun. Before I came, I had never been able to use my voice in dance. I had never really studied Lamone or Horton, Alexander technique. And I never would have been able to learn how to move like a ninja the way I have in Eric's class. So I feel really lucky, really abundantly lucky. I might not know where the next step is, but for right now, I know that I'm home. So I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you.